Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back today. So today's video, um, been meaning to do this video for a really long time, and I told you guys I would do it, but I never did it. Sorry, but we're gonna do it today. Um, so today's video is going to be a how-to nose contour video. Um, so yeah, because like I've been doing these videos for like literally coming up like two and a half years now, and um. Almost in every single one of my videos, whenever I do my nose contour, I like just brush past it and I edit out so much of it because it's such a long process and it just gets very, very boring and very, very tedious. So today I'm going to sit down with you guys and we're going to go through it step by step and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Now, a little bit of disclaimer, this is just how I do it and how I do it on my nose. Obviously, um, everybody's nose is completely different and it totally depends, but there are some tricks that kind of... Um, We'll kind of work no matter what that I'm going to try and show you guys. And just like, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and do two different types of nose contours. So one that's a little bit more simple and just like you go to, and one that's a little bit more hard and how, like, like go into like detail on how they like create shadows and different angles and this and that and like explain to you guys how to do it. So, but that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to kind of get everything sorted and then we'll get started. See you in just a second. Bye. Okay, so I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit, and I have just covered my nose with my Kryolan paint stick. So, next what you're going to need is you're going to need a concealer. So, try and get a full coverage concealer, because... Oh, also, another disclaimer, this isn't like your everyday nose contour, this is like drag nose contour. So, if you're new to this channel and you have no idea, then that's what we're doing. So, everything needs to be like full coverage, because you're kind of trying to erase shadows and erase lines and... If you're going in with like a BB cream, it's not gonna work. You need some full coverage stuff. So I go in with the TV paint stick and then my new favorite concealer is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Concealer. Okay, let's go in with our concealer here. So we're gonna act like we are just, um, you know, concealing under our eyes like usual. And what I always do is I always bring my concealer all the way up to the sides of the nose here. Um, because you're trying to make it look like that's not there. You're wanting it to look flat, so you're trying to blend in your under eye with this. So you're going to act as if that's all the same surface area. And also always get down here into your um, nostril creases, make sure that's all good. And then depending on how long you want your nose, you can just bring your concealer further up because obviously you'd probably have your brows covered maybe. Um, and if you're trying to create like a, a different illusion than what you'd usually have, you can just keep bringing that concealer up and that's what's going to make your nose look longer. I generally like to make my nose look longer upwards instead of trying to make it look longer downwards. Um, it just ends up looking better. So that's kind of basic there. We're just going to really lightly blend that out. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our contour colour. So, a little concealer brush, like really kind of like the tiniest one you have. I always like to take like a flat one and cut it on. And you're basically just wanting to fake it. Just fake it. If you want your nose to be really small, bring those lines in um, further together. If you just don't want like a little bit more of a subtle contour, then it doesn't really matter. So what I usually do is I usually take this nose contour and I, I'm trying to think. You either fade it into the brow or fade it into the cut crease. Whichever looks more natural, but you always want to have this go seamlessly into something else. You kind of want to avoid it just stopping. That's just not going to look right. You want it to look like that's a bone and it's fa it's, it's going into another bone. You know what I mean? Um, so I do that and then I really lightly go down the sides and just blend that down. So what I always try and make sure of and what I'm always really aware of is that this line that comes down the nose, these two lines that are side by side, I always make sure that the, dif the distance between these two lines is bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom. So you can you're wanting to like create a like a like a V shape down the middle of your nose, but very, very subtle. So you sort of, and then comes down. If 
you notice that your nose is looking bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top, I would change it. Your nose is going to look so much bigger in the end if you go that way. Always try and make sure that the di distance is bigger at the top than it is at the bottom because you're trying to make it come in. That kind of seems obvious, but it's just like little things that you kind of don't really take notice of. So, that's there. Now I go back in with the, with the contour colour and I kind of um, just start darkening it up. So what I like to do is I always like to have the bottom of my nose pointed up a little bit because my nose, you can see it kind of comes down a little bit so I like to hide that and make it look like it's a lot smaller obviously. Um, so I sort of bring that around the bottoms there and slightly up the top as well. And then just blend that out real quick. Because you don't want it to be too crazy, but you want it to be there so it's like noticeable. But also remember that you are going to go in with um, a powders as well. So, just like to do that real quick. So I'm going to leave that. Now we're going to go back in with the concealer. Because after you apply the contour colour, it fades down into the concealer that you put there before. So I go back in with the concealer and I put that all the way up the sides there. Almost to the point where there's like, it's just like offensive how small you're trying to make your nose look. Okay, all the way up the sides. Again, down near the nostrils. Okay, so the concealer's up the sides, taking my sponge, and we're going to sort of just marry those two colours together. Right up the sides there. Okay, now our contour colour's gone, so we're going to have to go back in with our contour. Now this might seem like, this whole process might seem like very redundant and just like very tedious, but this is just how I do it. Um, it like takes a long time to sort of... Get it right. Straight back down the sides, up the top, very simple. Back in with the sponge and just slightly, ever so slightly blend that down. Okay, so that's that. And now depending on what sort of look you're going for, you can either make that line down the bottom really harsh or a little bit more soft. We're probably gonna go for a little bit more harsh today because I'm trying to sort of make a point here, obviously. Um, so I'm just going to clean off that brush we were using for our contour and we're going to go back in with our concealer and we're going to highlight down the bridge. So very simple. Straight down the bridge there. Always blend this up. Always make sure that that's like even. Okay, and now I stop like halfway, take my thing again, and then I do a little dot. Okay. Very simple. You got that. And now what I do is I take my, again, concealer, and just underneath my nostrils here, I just sort of, oh my god, what the hell is that? Just sort of create a bit of a V, just coming off the top of my nostrils there. Now this is sort of going to um. Oh my God, there's something on my. Ah, uh, there she is, bloody hell. Now this is sort of going to help, like, to bring your nostrils and make the illusion that they're sort of pulling back a little bit. So that's sort of what I do there. Um, and I kind of like to keep the line in the middle, quite harsh, and then blend it out towards the edges. Keep it just like that. Now what you can also do is go back in with your white paint stick and just sort of um, make it a little bit more pronounced, a little bit more intense, because sort of once you go over with powder, a lot of that kind of gets lost. So that's definitely an option to go back over and make it really intense. Okay, so that's all the cream. So we're gonna set that real quick. 
and then we're gonna go with powders and more highlights and then we're done. So what I just do is I just go in like translucent um, air spun powder. You guys know the drill, this is the best stuff. And I take my thing and I just go straight over, straight away. And just make sure it's all set. You're all good. You get straight into those nostrils, make sure everything is obviously all fine, like usual. Got some of that back. Okay, let's go some powder. So what I do is I take oops, um, this lighter powder here and a big fluffy brush, really pack it on and and again, what I'd be doing is I'd be setting this underneath my eyes, and so I'd bring it all the way up the sides of the nose here. And really settle that. Okay, so what, once that's done, it's fairly straightforward. I take this brush. Now, this is the same brush I use every single time. This is my brush. This is what I use. So it's a flat brush. It's very fluffy, so it's not, like, hard. Um, and... It always seems to work the best. So if you're looking for a brush, if you're struggling with a brush, this is my go-to. Now what I do is I take this more grey toned um, contour. So you kind of want to stay away from bronze colours. Because it's just going to make your nose look... Um, it's not going to really help with the illusion. You kind of want to keep it grey because you guys know the grey is obviously like the colour of actual shadow. So you want to... Basically what you're doing is you're trying to create shadow, so if you replicate it with the same colours then it'll work. So I'm going to take the brush and I literally like dust off heaps of it, so there's really not a lot on there, and I just so slightly go straight down the sides there. Okay, all while keeping it, trying to keep it so it doesn't go too far down. The one thing you need to remember is to not bring your contours like anywhere past your nostril line, otherwise it just completely defeats the purpose of contouring your nose. Um, that contour is really what's going to make or break your nose. Not literally, but you know how you know how it goes. Okay, now really I'm trying to get a lot of this colour underneath there so we can make it look as like turned up as possible. And now bringing this up here as well. Blending that out. Alright, cool. And that is that. Now, last step, very, 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 very important, um, is highlight. I feel like this is what, this is what really makes a difference. So I'm going to take just my normal highlight and just a brush here. You can use any brush. Doesn't really matter. Jesus Christ. And ever so slightly that on the tip and run that down the mod bit woo run that down the middle <laughs> really focusing on the tip and we're gonna do a ton of it on the tops of our um, nostrils there but really focusing a lot of it on the tip there once that's done I go back in with my um, contour brush just wipe off any highlight that's not supposed to be there. And that is your nose contour. So that is literally it. That is all I do. When I'm just doing like a simple sort of makeup look, like drag look, this is my go-to nose contour. Now I do think that this will sort of work on anybody's nose. Um, now that's it's it's very hard to say but it's like very straightforward and just like the techniques are um a pretty pretty much gonna work I feel I feel like it's pretty much gonna work basically the thing that you are trying to achieve is just trying to eliminate this whole area here like this whole side area there so by bringing your um so by bringing your concealer all the way up and same with the powders and really really packing it on you're gonna help to eliminate any shadows there or any difference in colour. You just want to make it look flat, that whole area there until the top. 